Here's one that actually took me by surprise. In an era of famous outlaws, none was as notorious as Jesse James. But another key member of the James Younger gang was James uh, Jesse's brother Frank. And while Jesse was killed by fellow outlaw Robert Ford in 1882, Frank James made it well into the 20th century. After years of running from the law, Frank eventually decided he had had enough and turned himself into the Missouri authorities at the age of 40. But in a stunning development, Frank presented his case so skillfully that he was acquitted of all charges, shocking the entire nation. Now a free man, he worked a series of odd jobs from surf, uh, circus barker to a telegraph operator. He also went on to a lucrative lecture tour regaling audiences with his life as an outlaw, and he invested in one of the many Wild West shows that capitalized on his fame. Finally, he settled down with his family at the James Farm, where he made a living giving tours to visitors. He died in 1915 at the age of 72. At the time, he wasn't especially wealthy, but at least he was a free man.